I'm Kyle Williams, 26 years old, and I drive a 1996 Toyota Supra. Many of you were with me through my lifetime Supra project build, where we replaced the engine, we hit roadblocks, made new friends, and ultimately set new personal records. We achieved a 10 second pass last season. Now, we're on the quest for more. Welcome to my nine second super build. What's up guys, we're back with another part of the build. This time, we're gonna pull the interior out because sometime in the next couple of weeks, it's actually going for a cage, so we can't have the interior in. We have to pull that out. Um, I opted not to do the engine yet, and we'll do that when the car is out for getting a cage. We'll start with getting the camera inside the car, start pulling the seats out, the carpet, um, the interior parts, the dash has to come out, and we're gonna get ready for an 8.5 certified cage. All right, so inside the car is obviously gonna be a low light area. I do have my little shop LED light. Um, I'll do my best to keep the lighting good. I know how difficult it is, especially with this camera to keep stuff focused and good. Um, essentially, we're gonna be pulling the seats out, the carpet, the back seats, the dash, everything he needs to be able to weld in a cage. So we're gonna go 8.5 certified cage. Um, it's good for 180 miles an hour, I think, cause I'll be adding the chute. And um, yeah, so the goal is gonna be to retain a lot of the factory interior, like the A and B pillars, and he's just gonna build it tight to the factory headliner, A and B pillar, stuff like that. And I'll, I'll notch out my dash to fit around the cage again. Um, we're gonna be get rid of, be getting rid of these factory seats. This one has a, an electric motor underneath it built in and it actually doesn't work. It's been stripped out or something. It's 20 years old. Uh, so it's probably pretty heavy. I do have a Kirky seat I'm gonna be using for um, the fabrication part of it. It is Kent's seat from his Civic, so he'll probably wanna use that for his Mustang. I'll just buy an identical seat to that. And that's what I'll be running, an aluminum seat. As you guys know, in drag racing, weight reduction is the easiest way to um, get faster. So I may pull out the sound deadening in the floor. I may not add all the panels back in. I may not add stereo, stuff like that back in the car just to try and bring the weight down a little bit. Um, the car isn't gonna be used on the street as much anymore. I'm just, it's gonna be more of a drag car. So without further ado, we'll start trying to pull this seat. Now the front seat's gonna be a bit difficult. I have to, I have to, um, there's two bolts in the front that you can manually move the seat back and forth because the motor is dead in this one. So I'm gonna have to manually move it forward and then manually move it back to get the seat out. So that's where we're gonna start. My old Japanese turbo timer still in the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> the original dirty floor mats. Um, the car is a bit dirty. I did, I did daily drive it, so. Okay, so essentially on the front of the rail mechanism, there's a 10 mil and a 12 mil nut that you screw backwards to get the seat to come forward or backwards. I'm gonna try and get them to come all the way forward first. I'll get the back two bolts and then I'll try and push it uh, back to get the front two bolts. It's gonna be much harder to film than first anticipated. Um, there's two on this bracket and then there's one on this bracket down here. We'll pull those out, we'll push the seat back and then we'll uh, get the front bolts out. Honestly, if there's one tool you guys should invest in and I wish I would've invested in it way earlier, it's one of these little cordless impact guns because it just makes, it makes everything so much easier. Holy Jesus, this is heavy. Oh yeah. There's our seat. It's gotta weigh like a good, good like 30, 40 pounds or something. That'd be good weight savings. All right, now that the seat's out, we're feeling an incredible mess on the floor. Um, we can actually get the camera set up on this side of the, the car, pull the rear buckets out. So I think they just pull up on this vehicle. Yeah. Goodbye, buckets. We'll follow it up with this other seat real fast, hopefully. Die, stupid. I buy other seat if you can get out through this door. There's not enough room on this side of the garage. I gotta go through that door. Seat number two. This one's pretty heavy as well. Followed by removing this back seat, which is straightforward. I think that's all it is to get this off. There's so much garbage in my, oh, I'm caught in the camera. So much weight. Wow, this thing's actually pretty heavy too. It's like 10 pounds. 
All right, so my trunk doesn't like to stay propped up on its own. The, the struts are getting weak. It's a common issue. But <laughs> all last season, I ran with the factory jack and um, wheel chalk and everything still in the car, even during that 10 second pass that I did. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff out too. Um, try to find isn't set up because I'm retarded. Denise always likes to keep cleaning supplies on hand. And I feel bad that she's not gonna drive the car anymore because it's gonna be a race car, but these gotta go. Found a screwdriver. It fell on my head. <laughs> so yeah, here's a look at everything. Let's flip this around. The spare jack. I bet you a real Toyota enthusiast would love this. And then it even comes with the factory wheel block. Wheel chalk. Weight savings. Oh my God, I found monies. I found Canadian funny money. Oh my God, I found like, wow, it's actually a lot of money. There's two, four, five, six, seven, 25. Man, that's like a McDonald's run right there. And I found two USB sticks that I have no idea what's on them. I should actually go look after. Might be porn. Another loony. I'm rich. All this sub stuff, that's gonna end up going too. Essentially, I want to keep as many body panels as I can, so I'd like to keep these rear ones and the side ones if they don't affect the cage at all. Um, especially like the back uh, quarters on the inside, the door panels. I'd like to keep all that stuff. It makes it look cleaner and it's, it doesn't weigh that much that it'll influence my overall weight. Okay, so I was never into these long drawn out videos where you just film stupid shit all the, all the time. Like, you guys don't need to see me pull out every single panel. I don't need to stretch out this video to 26 minutes long and get all kinds of YouTube analytics and, and more money and stuff like that. I'm not into that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all the rear panels. They're fairly straightforward. They just pop out pins, little screws, pull them out. I'll film afterwards, show you what it looks like. And, um, and then we'll start on like the, towards the front of the car, the center console dash, stuff like that. So I'll do that um, and I'll see you guys in a little. So this is what it looks like um, before. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull out um, like these panels on the side and the back and everything. I just wanna get the seat belts out, all the unnecessary wires, the styrofoam and uh, stuff like that, so. Turning you off again, I'm boring. All right, we essentially have uh, this side off. We have my cheap Walmart speakers in there. I'm gonna remove the seat belt, probably remove these speakers. I'll just keep the front ones, maybe. I don't even think I need speakers anymore. Yeah, a lot of the wiring can be pulled out. This side's bare. I'm gonna put this panel back on so when he builds it, um, it won't be touching and I can put the panel back in. Yes, it is a Supra. Yes, I'm probably running it some of you, but I'll give you a quick run through of what I have out so far. So um, I took out everything on that side, speakers and all. Everything on this side, speakers and all. I took out the rear seat belts and it's all basically stripped out and ready for a cage back there. So now we gotta start on this end because the cage has to come tight along this pillar. So it's gonna have to be notched out in the dash and everything. Hey, this is my pile so far. Of, of panels and seats and I know it's not very organized, but I don't have a lot of room in here, so I'll have to reorganize it afterwards. It's a lot more difficult to film this interior stuff than I first anticipated. So don't hate me for it. Okay, so I've never actually fully taken the dash out. I've taken panels off, but I've never taken the whole dash off. So this is gonna be a new experience for me. And I'm not sure exactly where to start, but I wanna start up here. Now I know there are some screws up here. And normally I'd use a mini screwdriver, but I'm handicapped. So I need to go get a mini screwdriver. And if you're wondering why the lighting is so intense, because I put my light up there. Oh, that was almost bad. My big horse legs can the freaking camera. Over the camera this time, Kyle. And then this piece. One thing I will note is the wiring behind here for like the gauges and stuff is a complete disaster. I'm very mediocre at wiring, and every time I went to wire in something new, like a wide band or a boost gauge or something, I was really under a time crunch. So wires are everywhere. It's something I plan to redo and try and clean up a lot. And it's something I really want to get better at because 
And clean wiring is something that I've always admired and wanted to learn how to do. I'm just trying to get the stereo out. ABS, I'll be deleting the ABS, so it looks like I can get rid of this. An antenna relay box. Yeah, it looks like I can get rid of both of these boxes, so that'll save me a lot of room behind the dash. What kind of wiring we're talking about back here, so. Um, this is all like factory wiring here, but you can see with the AEM gauges and stuff, it's kind of just shoved back there and I hate it and I need something better. So this one says airbag crash sensor unit. Do I really need that? I should take the airbag out of the steering wheel since I'm going four point harness and everything. Maybe I don't need that. It'll be an executive decision. So I'll just turn the camera off because I don't know where all the mounting bolts are. It's gonna take me a while to find them all. It'll look really dumb and stupid and slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off. I'll turn it back on when I get the dash pulled out. Not gonna lie, this is much harder than first anticipated and I'm probably about half an hour into it so far and I haven't gotten anywhere yet. For everyone wondering what ECO is running, the Haltech Platinum Sport 2000, pretty awesome. It was a really user-friendly ECU. Um, like the, the program, the menus were all easy to find, easy to adjust. And I think ultimately that's what helped me get down to a 157 60 foot on stock suspension was being able to play with this thing. I think I might have all the... So the dash is definitely off, but then there's a hundred friggin' things connected to it wire-wise, so. I'm just stuck on all the wiring now that's clipped to the actual um, dash. Why are you so stupid? Harness. What are you being held on with? Uh, almost. Pretty much got it though. Camera's about to die. Typical me. Ah. Yeah, yeah, got it. So I'll go ahead and try and pull this carpet out now. It's probably easier said than done. I want to keep this in good condition, but I want to reuse it. Found a razor blade. Nice and clean in here now. Really echoey too. All right, so it looks like it's a hit. Give you a quick rundown of everything. It's all empty there. Go inside. So essentially the cage is gonna come um, run along this pillar and down and then get welded to the floor. And then as well right here and on the other side. All right, so I know this episode was probably a little bit boring, but it was a really essential step to get this car um, drag race ready. So I had to pull the interior so we can get the cage welded in. Um, once I get the cage welded in and I get the car back, I can start putting the interior back in and cutting panels to fit around the cage to give it that like stock looking interior. I really like it. As you can see, look at the big mess I have made here. All the interior bits. I'm gonna start putting this um, under the crawl space in the house and make the steps. We got the engine over there, the trans, which is leaving tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, I know this is a really, really boring step. I'm really on the fence about keeping some of the accessories like um, AC, stereo, stuff along those means because I'm, I'm not sure how much I'll actually drive it on the road. I'll see you guys next time. It'll be way better next time, I promise you. I'll get that engine on the stand, we'll rip it apart and shit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna start bringing a lot of this stuff inside and Peace easy. Yes.